Hello, I'm back with another unboxing. This one, let me tell you what happened. So on the Goulet pen order, the unboxing I did recently, I had a Sakura Platinum Preppy and it's a special edition, but they also had a dish, special edition blue one that has, I think, a, I don't remember what the design is, but it's a blue one. And I really wanted that one and they didn't have it at Goulet Pens and I thought I would be okay with it until I I was really liking that Sakura one. And so I found the blue one at Gold Spot. So this is an order from Gold Spot. And I'll show you what I got because as you this box is too big to just be a fountain pen. Well, I really liked that pilot ink that I got from Goulet Pens, but since I was already ordering that other fountain pen from Gold Spot, I decided to also order more inks from there just, you know, to make my order worthwhile. Get free shipping and all that, you know. Plus I had a um discount code for Gold Spot that I had forgotten about, so I was still able to use that. Let's see. The box in the package. That's cool. How do you open this box? Let's see. Do you pull it? Oh, it's right here. Let's see. Oh, okay. It doesn't open up. It just opens like this. I thought maybe it opened like, you know, like those clamshell boxes. So I bought three inks, Platinum Preppy, and, oh, I almost forgot what this was. This is one of those pen crab holders. Isn't that cute? Crab pen holder. Not a crab holder, a pen holder, but it's a crab. I don't know why I was thinking it would be smaller. Obviously it can't be because it has to hold a pen, right? Oh my gosh, look at this. I love it. Okay, that's so cute. I'm awkward here. I love it. Okay, so this is the other pen that I wanted. I, oh, it's clouds. That's what it was. I was thinking it was waves, but no, it's clouds. Can you see that? I love it. And this one came with Another, you know what I forgot to get? I forgot to get a cartridge converter. Hmm, so now I just have that. Hmm. I wanted to use one of my new inks. I'm thinking about that. Okay, I'll just sit it here for now while I open my inks. Okay, it's the Pilot Yuroshizuku, and the name is Tsutsui. Tsutsuji. Tsutsuji, I think. Tsutsuji. <laughs> Maybe. There it is. You know what? I didn't keep the box for the other platinum ink that I got. Maybe I should have kept it. But now that I didn't keep that one, I'm not going to keep this one because I just can't. <laughs> if I don't do it for one, I, if I don't have it for all of them, I can't do it for one. But look at how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it with the sunlight glowing through it. It's so pretty. All right, well. So prior to having this uh, from my Goulet Pens Unboxings, the Pilot Ink, I only had noodlers and just a couple things from Michael's, but not. Um, this was a Fuyu Shogun. Shogun. Fuyu Siogun. Maybe it's gun. Fuyu Sogun. Siogun. <laughs> I don't know. So this one is Yoshizuku Chikurin. 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 I don't know. <laughs> so those are my three bottles. Look at them. Can you see them if I do them like this? So this is my unboxing. It's my... I love my crab and I love my inks. Well, I think I love them. I haven't swatched them yet. I'm happy.
Okay, so this is the, well, I'll show you. I'll show you. I just have some just pieces of paper. This is paper from a Caliber notebook that I just cut up that's available at CVS. And I'm going to use this pen that I got on AliExpress. I saw Tiffany from Talksmot use it, and I had to have it because you can use it. It's a glass dip pen, but it also comes with a little nib that you can use as a fountain pen and then a converter. Or you could use it as a glass dip pen, which is how I'm going to use it right now. And it doesn't post, <laughs> so don't try it. Okay, let me move that one out of the way, and hopefully I don't make a mess. Okay, I'm going to use this packaging. I'll use some of this bubble wrap to put my stuff after I'm done with it. So I don't make a mess on my table here. All right, let me fold this over so it doesn't stick to my pilot ink. All right, I'm gonna try this one first. And do a dip first. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and this is, let's see if I can, how this works. I don't, I've only used this with the ghost ink before. Okay, this is the Su Suji. Maybe I should have written pilot. Hiroshi Zuku. Look at that. I like it. It's pretty. All right, now let me clean that off. Get ready for the next one. Where's my napkin here? Looks clean. Okay. So now let's go for the screen one. Let's see. This is the. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, and that one is. It's the pilot. Hiroshi Zuku. Chiku, chikurin. It looks like a green apple, like a Granny Smith apple to me. I like it. All right, so that is the green one. And I think this is gonna be my favorite. That's why I saved it for last, you know, best for last. So one time, that best for last thing reminded me of my daughter. I love that. So she does best for last when she eats chocolate muffins, which I didn't know she was doing that. Like, I think it was the first time she had done it or the first time. Well, yeah, it was a chocolate muffin. Oh, no. Pretend that's a Y, an I. And then this is a Z. Hiroshi's Zuku. And this is, I love this. Fuyu Shogun. Fuyu Shogun. Anyway, I love it. Anyway, my daughter was saving best for last on her chocolate muffin. Well, she was had her chocolate muffin. She ate all the cake part of it and was saving all. It was one of those Costco chocolate muffins too, you know, those big ones. And she had eaten all the cake part of it and had left all the chocolate chips. Well, on her plate, it looked like just crumbs. Well, she stepped up to go fill her water bottle or milk, maybe get a milk refill. I don't remember. And so in the meantime, I thought she was done. So I grabbed her plate and I threw it all in the trash and she came back. Oh my goodness. It's when she was a lot younger. Nothing makes my daughter cry except for food. And she, 
she doesn't have a food problem, but just that, like, when it comes to food, sometimes she's very sensitive about it, and she was so upset with me because I threw the best. She was saving best for last, and I threw the best out. I didn't know, and that was the last chocolate muffin. But anyway, look at how pretty those are. I want to fill this pen with this ink because look at it. It's like gray, but it's blue. It's a blue gray. It doesn't look like a cloudy day. It looks like a cloudy day to me. Anyway, so I wanted to put this in here, but I forgot to buy a cartridge converter. But you know what I'm thinking now? I don't want to dump that ink that's in there because that's wasteful, I think. But I've seen people turn this into a what are those called where you fill it up? A, what is it? An eyedropper. Yes, an eyedropper. And I do have a kit that I bought from Goulet Pens that has like the grease and the, the gasket. Is that what it's called? The ring? The O-rings? So I think I'm going to do that. And I've never done it before, so I'm a little scared. I'll just use one of my syringes. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to see if I can find my little kit. Okay, I'm back. I watched... I went and found my silicone grease and my O-rings that I got from Goulet Pens. And <laughs> I watched a video, so hopefully I'll be okay. All right, so I need an O-ring. I'll link the video, the Goulet Pens video below too, in case anybody wants to try this that hasn't, doesn't already know how to do this even though I'm going to show you how I do it, how he showed Brian from Goulet Pens showed me how to do it, um, you might want to hear it straight from him because he's the expert. All right, so I took the cartridge out and now I need to, ooh, should I keep the lid on? Can I? Okay, that's better. All right, now I need to this in here whoops and then make sure it goes all the way down is that it is that the bottom or does it need to go all the way I should probably check to see how far it goes I think that's it when does it step up higher up here I'll find out, I guess. Okay, and this is the silicone grease. Ooh, yeah, it's filled to the brim. Okay. So I need to put this on the threads, but not get it over here. Oh, I wonder if the ink's going to change the color of my pen. It's so pretty. I bet it's going to darken it up. Oh, well. I'm already committed. All right, he said, grab some on your finger. And I probably grabbed too much, like he said he always does. And then spread it on the threads. I'm hoping that's enough. All right, so I did that. And then I wanna put this one in there. Okay, I'm not prepared. Where's my syringe okay and I don't have an eyedropper so I'm just going to use a syringe which I'm sure is just as good so I need to put the ink in here Ooh, I'm nervous So I don't know that I want to fill it all the way up. Maybe I do. Okay, I will. No, I'll just put, I'll start with three. Let's see what happens with three. Maybe three is too much. I'll stop at whatever this is. All right, and then you put it in there. Wouldn't it be awful if it just started spilling out the back? Did 
does it oh like it's not really tightening up it's because i have the lid on there oh is that right does that look right i think so okay let me cover this up before i spill that All right, let me turn it over. So far, so good. It's not leaking. Yay. Okay, I'm going to take the sticker off while it's hopefully coming down. Trash over here. So there's my platinum prepping and it's inked up and it's not spilling. Thank goodness. <gasps> it is. Is it? Is it not right? Oh no. I must have not put enough on there. Is it just not o-ringed correctly? I don't know. Let's see. All right, well, it's inked up. It's writing. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Looks like it got the ink in the thread, so I'm hoping it doesn't spill. I don't know if I did that right. If you guys want to do it, <laughs> go watch Brian Goulet's video. Okay, this is the Platinum Preppy. I think I'm shaking the table. Oops. Do you guys ever do that? Put the dot in the wrong place? I'm going to write that over. Platinum Preppy with the Pilot. Roshizuku. Fuyu. Goon. I like it. Okay, and I think this is a fine point, right? It says 03. Let me look at my order. I think I'm I think I bought a fine point. Maybe they only came in a fine point. Yes, it's a fine point. Oops, that was loud. I love the color of this ink. Let me see if it's spilling. I think the first time I just didn't have it tight enough. Yeah, it's not spilling. I hope I was in frame when I fill, <laughs> filled it up. <laughs> but look at it. It did darken the pen. It was a lot lighter. But the dark ink obviously darkened it. But I still love it. It's, I love this blue one with the little clouds on it. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with my purchases. And look, it matches better now with my little crab. All right, let me show you close up. All right, so the three inks I got. Pilot Uroshizuku Tsutsuji. That's how I think it says. And it's pronounced anyways. Probably wrong. And then the Pilot Uroshizuku Chinkurin. Chikurin. 
Hmm. You know what? I'm going off on a tangent, but the pen I got from Goulet Pens, I think I'm going to ink up with this pink when I when I finish using the other one. And this one is the Pilot Hiroshizuku Fuyu Shogun. Shogun. Anyway. And this is written with the new Pilot Preppy. I mean, I did it again. Platinum Preppy with this ink. And I did an eyedropper conversion with the eyedropper conversion kit I got from Goulet Pens. Isn't that pretty? And now it looks even better on my little crab. Can you guys see that? I don't know how, how well you can see it, but this is how it would look if it was sitting on your desk. Horizontal view. Isn't that so cute? It's a little crab holding on to your pen. So that's it. That's my order. Oh, I better cover this up before I make a mess. Okay, that's my quick unboxing from Gold Spot. And you got to see how I nervously converted my Platinum Preppy into a, uh, an eyedropper pen because I forgot to buy a converter. But that works. It's working and it doesn't appear to be leaking. So I'm happy with that. Here's my inks. Pilot. Let me make sure this is really close. The Pilot Hiroshizuku Tsutsuji. The Pilot Chikurin. The, oh, see, I should have bought another one so I could have four of them right there. And the Pilot Yoshizuku Fuji Shogun. And my little crab. There it is. That's my gold spot order. And I'm so happy with everything I got. And I was excited to try that new, um, the kit that I had gotten, mm. the the eyedropper pen converter kit that I got from Goulet Pens. So yes, this isn't from, I didn't order it this time. This already had, I had not used it yet, but it's the silicone grease and the O-rings to turn this into a platinum preppy eyedropper pen, which I'm very happy about. And this pen is the one that didn't, they didn't have it at Goulet Pens. So that's why I placed an order at Gold Spot. And I'm, I have, I'm happy with all my purchases I've made from both those places. But um, I'll link the video from Goulet Pens for how to turn that into an eyedropper. But yes, I'm so happy. And you know, my favorite of these inks is this one. I love it. I think I'm going to be using that all the time. All right, everybody. Have a great day. And I'm still waiting for my Hobonichi order. It doesn't, it's, I got a message saying it ships on the 28th. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.